Alright guys, so today I'm doing a review of a blank deck. If you guys don't know what a blank deck is, it's basically a deck that is unbranded, but it's better than a Walmart board, I can tell you guys that. A blank deck usually goes for around 15 bucks, and yeah, this was Brian's first real skateboard. Yeah, it actually was his first board, <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, so, yeah, um, this board costs 15 bucks. Brian's first board. So, and I skated it because I wanted to see, hmm, how does this compare to a Walmart board? How does this compare to a real branded board if there's a difference? So, yeah, obviously, the grip is real. It's a grizzly grip. You can see it right here. So, that's what I'm about to tell you guys. And, yeah, I'm about to let you guys know if you should get it. And this is the review of a blank deck. Yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna put some trucks on it and go skate. Alright guys, so I, I was going to warm up with the flat ground, by just starting off with an ollie. And I couldn't land a heel flip, and no matter how many tries I took, I could not land one. And it was probably because this board has no concave or anything, so like it was harder to catch heel flips. And we went to this hill to curb slope, which was really hard to skate because of the rough ground. This board was really heavy, so it was really hard to ollie up the curb. After that, I thought I would just try a front side 180 up it. Was that a mistake? Because I realized, I found out that it was really hard because of the weight of the board going down faster than your actual body weight. So it was a lot harder to turn the board in mid-air because it would fall so fast that it had no time to like move with the board. So after the front side 180, I decided to just go ahead and try the kick flip, which I mean it was good for a while because like it felt a little like possible actually. No matter even though I wasn't close on some attempts, it felt possible to actually be done because it's just easier because kick flips are easier to do for me rather than front side 180s. So I kept trying and it actually ended up working. As you guys can tell, and I was pretty stoked on that. So after skateboarding with this for a, <clears throat> a while, for you guys it was one session because I just wanted to make sure I knew everything about it and what I like and what I don't. So I'm gonna start with pros about this board. Pros: It's cheap. It's better than a Walmart board. You could actually choose your size, you know, and it's simple. Basically, it's a simple board. It's not basically a normal board. Would I recommend it for a for a beginner, a teenager, and adult? Yes. For a kid, probably not because it's so heavy that I feel like they would struggle to get the board off the floor, you know. I would say, to be honest, for a little kid, I would actually recommend a Walmart board because you need to know if they're even going to skateboard. You need to 
those are really like some plastic trucks and they're not really gonna be like super into it. if they are go ahead and buy them a real board I suggest not one of these and yeah so that's my review of the blank deck so yeah let me know what you guys think about them in the comments if you guys maybe maybe I missed something maybe there's some stuff bad with it maybe yeah just go ahead and leave your comment below and subscribe comment below if you guys would if you guys want us to review other things like trucks wheels bearings all of that so yeah let us know and peace